Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make this video regarding Tesla and NEO um, when it comes to autonomous driving and robo taxi services. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because um, I'm an early Tesla investor. My and my current um, average in Tesla is below 100. It's in the 30s. So I've been with Tesla for a very long time. Not longer than, you know, the really, really early investors, but you know, I saw Tesla when it when I f when it first started coming on the roads. When I used to live in a really rich residential area in California, you know, I saw some of the first Teslas to ever come out and the first owners. And you know, the reason why I invested in Tesla was because it was an electric vehicle that went for the premium market. It was something new, edgy. It had a good community. And these things are the same things on why I invested in Neo, because Neo is edgy in a sense. It's new. It's very um, it focuses on community aspects it has a great design it's beautiful right it looks like a high quality build when you look at other electric vehicle companies whether they be Porsche BMW um, traditional automakers even new Chinese automakers uh, American Tesla you know the quality of these vehicles they they speak volumes right and Tesla did too at one point and Tesla still does right for their premium models as well but you know I wanted to talk about robo taxi because um, as, an early, as an early NEO and Tesla investor, um, I saw the price of Tesla go to astronomical levels that I've never would have imagined, you know? Um, and a lot of it was, you know, premised on the idea that, I'm mean not premised, but it was based on the idea that Tesla would be able to capitalize on future markets, right? Such as robo-taxi and autonomous driving. But the thing is, is that you know, when it comes to robo taxi, um, when it comes to self autonomous driving, this is gonna be ha this is gonna have to be a standard for all vehicles, regardless of um, of of you know of one company having you know autonomous driving level four or five. It it has to be a standard for all eventually, which is just inevitable. And there's so much money and so many companies working on um, self driving systems that you know it doesn't really give tesla the big advantage that is reflected in the share price and even with robo taxi um i have to argue that because i think neo is actually poised to capitalize on the robo taxi um is capital is better set up to capitalize on robo taxi and actually winning that market so i wanted to explain why so you know with tesla um, it doesn't matter if Tes Tesla has, you know, the most supercharging stations ever or that, you know, there's a bunch of different charging station companies as well. Because the problem is, is that let's just pretend Tesla does work on their type of um, FS full state driving um, system and they do have robo taxi capabilities. Right. Let's just pretend that happens. OK. Um, they still have to charge the vehicle itself okay so look look at this look at this charging station in order to charge a tesla vehicle whether it be from a tesla certified supercharging station or a regular charging station you would have to remove the you'd have to take this plug out and open this hatch open pop the hatch insert the plug put on an adapter wait here in this area that's unknown and you would have to then take it out and place it back in close the latch and you know see the reason why it's not practical is because it takes many steps it takes over 40 to 50 steps if not more to go from point a to point b and then back to point a right just to charge this vehicle it would you would need a, a human to come in and plug it in manually and then take it out and then you know there's people who might do vandalism on the vehicle itself there's people who might uh damage the vehicles you know things like that there's just so many variables when it comes to this but the reason why we haven't robots haven't replaced every single job as of now is because a lot of the jobs that are being replaced are very simple jobs to replicate uh, whether it be through coding or through basic functions and basic movements right uh, because one it would cost so much money to automate a robot that could be capable of pulling a plug out and then putting it back in and then putting it back out but two it's it's not it's not only that it would cost millions of dollars to make a robot that could do that or billions 
um, you would need them everywhere, which just isn't practical. Okay, so for a Tesla Robo Taxi, it would have to, you know, it could work for a couple hours and then go to back to a supercharger, which doesn't give a hundred percent. So it's not it's not efficient. It, it's not practical. This is why Tesla can't can't be the winner of Robo Taxi because it just it, it doesn't it it cannot be. It just doesn't make sense. It's because of this charging method. It's because of this charging method, Tesla cannot be the winner of RoboTaxi, which Kathy Woods from ARK Invest likes to state. It's not. It just cannot be, okay? To make a robot that can do the function of charging a Tesla uh, would cost in the millions or billions, and you would need those everywhere. So that would definitely cost in the billions, okay? And the technology isn't there yet. Meanwhile, we have Neo Swap Stations. Okay, first of all, Neo already has Robo Taxi being worked on, right? They partnered up with Mobileye, and they're currently in different areas where they are um, testing out their autonomous driving vehicles, and they're already working on Robo Taxi. So, you know, in my opinion, I think that Neo is more poised to capitalize on Robo Taxi than Tesla. But the most important thing that differentiates Neo and Tesla is the fact that there's battery swap. So. When you look at this battery swap station, right? These Neo vehicles, they don't need a person to drive into the swap station, have the battery swapped out, and then go back to servicing people. So with a Tesla, if this was autonomous driving 24/7, you would need all these you would spend billions of billions and trillions of dollars on an infrastructure in order to accommodate RoboTaxi for Teslas. Meanwhile, Neo swap stations cost around, I believe, a million dollars. This is this is not including subs. This is not including the subsidies from the government, and um, you don't need a user in the vehicle itself to automatic to autonomously drive into the Neo swap station, have the battery swapped out, and then have the vehicle, the Neo vehicle, go back to servicing uh, Robo Taxi customers. So look. While this Neo vehicle drives into a Neo swap station, battery swap station autonomously, it can do maybe perhaps uh, a full. It gets a full charge battery. It has um, maybe some kind of maintenance check, right? It checks like the quality of the vehicle, the conditions, is everything okay? Um, it checks maybe the tires, the performance in the vehicle. It does like a diagnostics on the vehicles to make sure everything's running smoothly, and then it goes back out to service. Robo taxi customers in, in three minutes. So that's the advantage of a Neo. And when you look, and you know, this isn't, this is probably not going to be an updated, this is probably not going to be an updated um, map, but look, this, yeah, this is definitely outdated because we have over 500 swap stations now. But look, we're going to have over 500, and Neo aims to have what, 4,000 swap stations in China? by um by uh I, I forgot what year but really really soon right because they're building like 10 swap stations a day you're gonna have these swap stations that have that can do things like diagnostic checks basic maintenance um, battery swap and replenishment and all these other great features that a neo vehicle can do and they also do have supercharging networks as well but my point is is that you're gonna have a network of, of swap stations all along China and the, and the big cities like Guangzhou, Shenzhen, um, Shenzhen, and uh, and yeah, Shanghai, blah blah, blah all these other um, very densely populated areas. But while robo, while neo vehicles can work 24/7 because they're getting fast battery replenishment, um, diagnostic checks, maintenance through the swap stations. Tesla just doesn't have that luxury, okay? To have this, to replenish the battery, it would cost billions of dollars. Unless you're gonna have one person stand here and plug it in manually and then plug it back out. That's still gonna cost, that's manpower right there. While Neo doesn't have to worry about that. The swap ta station takes care of everything. But that's not the only issue either. Because when you look at the Tesla vehicle itself, you know, Tesla does offer some great things, right? The, you know, the, the interior is very nice. 
but it doesn't have a user interface, right? So if you want things done, like uh, basic essentials like um, roll down the window, roll it up, turn the AC up or down, um, you know, things like that, well, you'd have to manually do it yourself. And then also, you know, let's just pretend that it, let's just pretend that you, you know, you would have to, you want to take transactions and have, have some kind of system to act as a medium, you know, some AI system to act as a medium between the, the user and the vehicle for robo taxi, you know, like a taxi driver, but a robot. Tesla doesn't do that. You know, Tesla vehicles cannot do that. And maybe one day it will, you know, it can be done, but at the moment it doesn't do that. Meanwhile, Neo actually does. So what we have here is a Neo vehicle interior, okay? And you know, this is the concept car that they have. This would definitely work for Robo Taxi, and this is why, you know, um, they focus so much on this concept of luxury and relaxation, and all these other lifestyle branding, because they want to focus on the concept of Robo Taxi and um, you know, shaping the way we view electric vehicles in general. But anyway, um, the interior of the East of the Neo vehicles are bigger, they're more comfortable because yeah, they do cost more, you know, but they're made to be sort of like, you know, you're going on an airplane ride, you know, they make it really comfortable, like first class, all right? You can just tell that the quality and in the interior and exterior is just, it's just a higher build. It's just higher grade and it's higher quality. But the most important thing about a Neo vehicle is the fact that it has a few things that could help with robo taxi that a tesla cannot uh for example because um because neo has things like nomi which is an ai system that can act as a as a it can act as a medium between the driver and i mean between the customer and the the vehicle itself you know it can take things like transactions it can it can listen in like siri and take basic orders like roll the windows down, turn the AC up, um, you know, move seats back, forward, um, you know, stop at this location instead. And Nomi has a bunch of different functions throughout the vehicle, and it can also, you know, it can be programmed to speak different languages as well, to accommodate different types of people, different customers. It moves around, it takes pictures, and it acts pretty much as a taxi driver in an AI system. This is important because when you have um, when you have a taxi when you when you're using autonomous taxi driver well, aut autonomous taxi um, when you're using autonomous taxis you have vehicles you have to have something someone act as a as a taxi driver and Nomi does that Nomi acts as uh, as a taxi driver it can take pictures as well to log down the users. It can record things inside the vehicle as well, just in case, you know, there's vandalism or there's, you know, negative behaviors. And it, it pretty, yeah, it, it acts as a taxi driver would. And, you know, you could prevent this by, you know, installing apps that, you know, do transactions and things like that. But it's while the transactions could be handled through other applications, uh, Nomi still acts as a taxi driver and a medium between the user and the vehicle, which Tesla just doesn't have that to offer. So, you know, there's there's a lot of reasons why, from the vehicle build to the infrastructure that you know Neo is setting up with the swap stations, that allows Neo to actually be more poised to capitalize on um, robo taxi than Tesla. So, you know, Kathy Woods thought that Tesla was going to win and dominate RoboTaxi, but I actually think that, you know, uh, the writing's on the wall. It's very, it's very obvious that Neo is going to be the company that capitalizes on, capitalizes on RoboTaxi, not only because the interior, exterior of the vehicle itself, but the infrastructure of swap station. So I think, and look, we have Mobileye, Mobileye Intel literally working with neo to be robo taxi because they probably see it too they probably understand that neo is going to be the the real winner of robo taxi not just because the vehicle itself but the what the vehicle has to offer in terms of nomi and the ai system and the infrastructure so if 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 you're a little you know 
bearish or if you're a little you know conflicted about swap stations and why it's why neo is doing it well if you if you think that robo taxi is going to be uh, a future potential revenue for autonomous driving vehicles which it will be because it's a very big market cap uh, that hasn't been touched uh, it's a very big market that hasn't been touched well if you really think about it practically and you don't have your personal biases you know I'm an early Tesla investor and a very early NEO investor but to me it seems like NEO just has ticks every single box that would show that they're heading towards robo taxi so you know I think people should really consider that and it, it it's probably the reason why Wall Street doesn't want to acknowledge this it's because if if Kathy Woods were to come out from ARK Invest to say that, you know, NEO actually is more poised to capitalize on robo taxi than Tesla. Well, then there's going to be billions and billions of dollars that flow into Tesla. I mean, that flow, you know, into NEO. And, you know, then NEO can further R&D and their expansion and increase their, you know, they can increase their projects for robo taxi, which is worth, you know, billions of dollars. So it makes sense, you know, I, I wouldn't, I would I wouldn't want to um, I wouldn't want to if, if Kathy thinks that Tesla deserves such a high market cap you know for these reasons and but Neo is doing it better and more poised to um, capitalize up capitalize it capitalize on it then it makes sense right but yeah you definitely do your own research I'm not a financial advisor but you know as a ver early investor in both I do personally think that Neo is more poised to capitalize on robo taxi effectively than Tesla and it's not even a question at this point if you just look at the infrastructure that's being built by neo it's literally made for robo taxi okay and if you look at what william uh, william lee bin has been saying um you know the reason why the premium vehicles are priced so high is because it allows them to fo have money so they can focus on things like research and development and expansion so yeah i definitely think that neo is going to be the one to capitalize on robo taxi and wall street doesn't doesn't want to acknowledge that but you know the market cap of this company is pretty high right now not nearly as high as tesla but you know if we were to price it in terms of robo taxi potential yeah neo should be higher than what it is now in my opinion but um you know this it's just based on this premise so you know i i do think that the company is going to do very well um as we can see it's taking market cap from other companies as well but you know it's not only that either right it's not only that either you know current users of electric vehicles they're going to be stuck with these degrading batteries with their stuck mileage that kind of sucks but neo users uh in two three five years in solid state batteries are refined and they keep improving they're going to be able to upgrade their batteries uh everybody else is not going to be able to so that's another perk that isn't really valued or understood by consumers but you know that that's why Neo's gonna win because they just have so many advantages. They learn from Tesla and all these other automakers and are just doing everything better.